Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Now into chapter 3 of Colossians, verses 1 through 4. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. Since you've been raised with Christ... Then love the things of heaven. Don't stay earthbound. As Rich Mullins said in his song, If, if I Stand, he said, I, um, The stuff of earth competes for the allegiance I owe only to the giver of all good things. That stands out to me as a constant battle. Jesus faced it in the wilderness temptations. You face it all the time. Steve Brown of Key Life Ministries says, Look, it's like you're building um, your, your dream home. You know, and you, In the meantime, you have to live in an apartment. Well, you don't go out and buy expensive antique Louis the Fourteenth furniture for the apartment. No, you invest in your home. Sure, you keep the apartment clean. Sure, it's comfortable. But you invest in your eternal home, too. You know, we're living in an apartment right now, and we need to be setting our affection on the new home. And Paul says, you're dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Philippians 121, for me to live is Christ, then to die is gain. Romans 8, he said, we're joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Man, that's good stuff. If, if Trump or Gates had to feed all of God's birds just one day, psh, they'd go bust, you know. But God feeds them every day. Then it says, we'll appear with him in glory. If we share in his sufferings, we share in his glory. Martin Luther said this, if we consider the greatness and the glory of the life we shall have when we are risen from the dead, it would not be difficult at all for us to bear the concerns of this world. If I believe the word, I shall on that last day, after the sentence has been pronounced, not only gladly have suffered ordinary temptations, insults, and imprisonment, but I shall say, oh, that I did not throw myself under the feet of all the godless for the sake of the great glory which I now see revealed, and which has come to me through the merit of Christ alone. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.